not like the way he thinks. We all can agree with that. But you're listening, aren't you? Brian the Cab Driver on New Bedford's News Talk Station, 1420 WBSM. Welcome back to Brian's Beat. We have a poll question for you. I guess it's on our Twitter, Facebook, and at WBSM.com. Is the February vacation necessary? Would you be in favor of getting rid of the February vacation and going with one March vacation? That way schools can start later and end earlier. You can answer the poll question if you so desire. We're, we've been talking, and I've been getting some calls both on and off the air in regards to jaywalking. And apparently it's also in the driver's manual that you have to stop for pedestrians. And it makes sense. Why would you not stop for a pedestrian? Well, excuse me. <laughs> Why would I even ask that question, I have to think. But seriously, um, there is that chance that you were keeping your eyes on the road but a different part of the road, and you missed the person walking through the intersection. Not trying to make uh, an excuse for the person doing it, but sometimes that happens. On the other side of the coin, if you see the car coming, and you could miss it too, well, why not just get out of the way? Accidents are going to happen. And 80% of all pedestrian deaths happen at non-intersections. So I can understand why the state senator wants to move forward. I don't know how that's going to change things. Jaywalking, a $25 fine, do you believe it's going to stop somebody from jaywalking? Then the second time you do it, $50. Would that stop somebody from jaywalking? Apparently not, because they actually have a third offense down here at $75. In Worcester, already on the books. My quick suggestion here, if other cities and towns believe that they need to raise the fine for jaywalking, why not let the individual cities and towns do so? And then they can mandate to their police departments, we need you to crack down on people jaywalking. Don't worry about the B&E going on over there. Don't worry about what might be happening at at 7-Eleven. Don't worry about the war on drugs. We want you to stop the jaywalkers. And take it it like that. All right. Uh, I did bring up drugs. And certainly during Hour 2 with State Rep and Margaret Ferrante, we're going to be talking about her proposal dealing with drugs i i do want you to know if if you haven't heard it within our news uh narcan is now available at your friendly neighborhood walgreens store and according to massachusetts law it will be available in other pharmacies you can get the narcan without a prescription now i know that something goes up the nostril nostrils 